With Infusionsoft, you have the ability to create membership subscription for your uh, users, so they can pay a certain amount and they will be uh, billed uh, recurringly at the time frame you set. Um, but how about creating trial? This is what I want to show you to create a trial subscription so people can actually uh, try the product for free for a couple days or for a certain amount and after that they can start to be billed with the normal recurring billing. This is actually fairly simple. In Infusionsoft you go to first product, so we'll go to product and you want to create two product. The first product will be actually uh, the member trial product and in our case just as an example and also you want to create a product which is the full membership so I'll start from scratch here I'll create my membership trial so the member trial 2 in this case because I already had one so this is going to be my trial period the um, product I want to set a certain amount you can set it for zero uh, as free but I prefer to put a, a, like $5, let's say $5 for 10 days. Um, so I'm just gonna put $5 here, that's the only thing I need to do for the, the trial uh, product, maybe a description, trial five days, no, we said 10 days, 10 days for $5. All right, uh, you can put a long description depending on how you use the product, but for me, this just gonna work $5 and that's it and you save your product. Now let's create our full product. So we'll go back to product and add a new product. It's gonna be our subscription product that will be billed every three months. In our case, we could do every 30 days or whatever, you know, it's really up to you. So member, member full, so our full product. All right, so I'm gonna put the amount here. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna be a subscription product, but I'm gonna put the price here just as a reference for me in the uh, dashboard. So the price will be $2.99 for three months. Uh, full product. You can put whatever description you want here. That's, uh, this one's not gonna show on the order form. All right, so now I wanna save my product and now create a subscription plan for it. So it's gonna be billed every three months. And I put zero here for unlimited number of cycles. So it's gonna be billed until the user actually cancel. But you can put actually three or, you know, it's really up to you. But in this case, zero and my price is 2.99. Excellent, so this is created as a subscription. I'm gonna make this product a subscription only. So it's not, it's not gonna be, possible for someone to purchase that product alone. Let's save that. And uh, that's it. There's all bunch of other options, but for me, I never really use them. Uh, categories can be interesting if you uh, do a bunch of stuff with the API or uh, other stuff, it doesn't really matter. So let's go back and see our product. We have our two products. We have a member full and member trial two. So now let's go to action. This is where you're gonna actually create that uh, order. Um, so basically the, the user will purchase the trial product and that will an automatic order will be created to purchase the full product at the same time. So we'll go to purchase actions in action. If you can find it, usually it's like under uh, the menu here, under action, e-commerce action. All right, so just right there, you're gonna do a search for your product. So you're gonna search for member uh, trial two in our case. So this is what the actual, sorry, this is what the user will purchase on the order form. So we'll go to action for this one. And what we wanna do is create an automatic order of, of our full product. So let's create that into the last one in the list here, create order. First, you need to save that action here uh, in order to be able to configure it. So let's save it. Excellent, so now you need to choose uh, which subscription plan will be created automatically. In our case, it's our member full every three months. Let's add that. And we said it, it's gonna be a 10 days. So in our case, this is where you set the free trial. This is really important, okay? So this is a 10 days. So 
the subscription will actually start 10 days after the user has purchased the trial. So it gives 10 free days to the person on this subscription. Also here, you want to auto charge this order, obviously. Um, you can't set other options like email the invoice to the customer. One thing I like to do is if I have a bunch of, uh, if sorry, if I have an affiliate program, I like to set the affiliate uh, equal to the lead affiliate. This means this membership will actually be credited to the affiliate as well as the trial product. So let's click save, sorry, click save. Also what I like to do is also um, always put tags. It's really important. Tags are, are the key in Infusionsoft. If you don't put tags everywhere, you're going to be in trouble in, in the future uh, to do reporting. This is really important for your stats. So I'm going to put uh, purchased. Oh, I think I already have one here that says purchased uh, something. Well, I made a typo, but let's carry that. Purchased trial two. I could create other tags, obviously, to do action and to start campaigns. Uh, but in this case, it's just an example, so I'm just going to put one tag. Okay, so we're all good. 10 days. It's going to create a an order. Uh, all right, let's save that. So we're all set for our action. So now let's build our order form. So we go to e-commerce setup, order forms, and create new. Remember trial this is actually the form that the user will use to purchase the product that you you will actually use that link to publish on your website for a purchase order so let's find the product we want to add the trial to not the full remember we all want the user to buy the trial and once they buy the trial the full membership will be automatically added to their account so let's add the product here so it's five dollars for ten days. We're all good. I don't want user to actually change the quantity of the product. So let's check that box here. Save. Now let's go to our theme. That's fine. I'm just going to use the basic. But if you have one customized, you can choose uh, the customized one. HTML is for customization. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Thank you page, usually I, I prefer to put that on my website. So let's say you have a website, create yourself a nice thank you page, it's way better. Um, and then you can add tracking to it, you can do whatever you want. So uh, your domain.com slash thank you. That's just an example. And then you wanna pass the contact information uh, I always do that because in the future, if I want to use that to do some processing of the data, then it's there, you know. Setting, you want to use your merchant account, obviously. This this is a test one, but make sure you have a merchant account to process the credit card. And then I like to use the first one and check the person's email address for duplicates because otherwise this one is like it's checking for names. I, I just, just rely on email address. It's, it's way better. Um, and I'm gonna hide the promo code and we're all set so let's grab our link it's it's this link here you can actually edit the link so member trial 2 doesn't really matter but you know it's just for uh, cosmetic and we have our member 10 days for five dollars so you see and once the person is gonna purchase that product uh, it's going to become active, the full membership will become active in their account and will be billed automatically 10 days after they purchase the trial. So um, this is the way to go to create a uh, membership trial. Thanks.